Diesel. Oh, yeah, 2004. Okay. If you had it retrofitted, or no, did it come, was it like that by its, it came that way? Diesel invented the diesel engine to run on peanut oil, so oh, the farmers excellent. can grow their own fuel, so okay. they still can. So, what's the first thing we're going to see you in? I know you have, you have a couple of films that you did that are in the can at the moment, yes? Yeah, and I'm starting one. I was supposed to start this month, but they postponed it to January. So oh, okay. So what, when are we going to see you in first? Um, there's, according to IMDb, there's Garbage, El Dorado, Palominas, SOS Love. Some of those I've never heard never of. Heard you of. never can trust oh, IMDb. Oh, okay. And that's why I'm asking. Is yeah, there anything that's I, coming I don't out? Know. I'm, I'm not sure what the, what the uh, schedule is. Is there going to be a Kill Bill 3? Well, I doubt you'll have to ask Quentin, but I think he was, he was Are you up for it if, you're, if there sure. is one? Of course, of course. Okay. Yeah, nice Thanks so much. Hi. Hi, Daryl. How are Hi, you? Good. How are you? Nice to see you. So let's talk about your uh, end oil uh, mm -hmm. blouse or dress. Um, what's going on with this Keystone pipeline? What is the latest news? Um, Obama has still not said anything, um, but then of course there were a bunch of um, emails that were leaked through WikiLeaks that showed that um, the State Department has a very cozy relationship with the people who are trans Canada. Obviously, Hillary Clinton's ex ch chief deputy. Uh, uh, Chief, uh, Deputy Chief of the Chief of Staff uh, is now working for Trans Canada, and so there's all kinds of things. But nevertheless, it's still Obama's call, and the American citizens, I think, are hoping that we really move to the clean future that he promised. He said three times during his campaign that he would get us off the tyranny of oil. And, um, and it's time we need to start moving towards solar power, um, renewable energy, clean energy. What do you think will happen if this Keystone pipeline does, in fact, get built? A lot of scary things. Um, first of all, it's going through the Ogallala Aquifer, which is a fossil aquifer. It means it doesn't replenish. And it's the water source for not only 20 million people, but three-quarters of the nation's ranch and farmlands. So if that gets poisoned, or there's a spill in there, and there's already been 12 spills in 12 months in the last Keystone that was put in last year, it's kind of serious crisis, food crisis, water crisis in this country that we will not be able to really deal with. Um, it's something that we can't risk. And that's only one of the things, not to mention, of course, the increased carbon emissions, and then the, it's not going to make gas prices go down because that, that gas will be on the open market for sale for foreign countries and everything. So it's, there's really a no-win situation. So what can we do? What can people watching do right now? Well, obviously, it's, uh, you know, let people know that you don't, uh, let the president know as soon as possible that you don't want the Keystone Pipeline pipeline and, and do what you can to be, you know, conscious and mindful about your actions. Okay. Very well. And, uh, and what are some movies you're going to be in? I heard you're going to be in a couple of movies. Uh, 